Okay, everyone. Um, welcome to this morning's uh, press conference with uh, NB Park. NB, welcome to the IG Women's Open. Thank you. Um, can you start by telling us how much you're uh, looking forward to this week and um, hopefully contending for another major title? Yeah, I'm really excited to play the AH Women's Open. Um, I played it last uh, last few last few years, and um, I have had the good results here. And you know, I just love playing Lynx Golf Course, and you know, Carnegie is a great golf course to play. So really excited to be here. Um, you know, finally in the little cooler weather after um, being in the Olympics, being in Korea, it has been very very hot. So I'm really really enjoying this weather and the course. Okay, um, so we'll go to questions. Sorry, the audio is not working now. I've got. So she's on mute, isn't it? Yeah, I pushed the on mute. Yeah, button. so you'll be back. Okay. okay, go ahead, Liv. Hi, MB. Thank you so much um, for chatting with us today. Um, you played here in 2011 at Carnoustie when the women, AIG Women's Open was played here. You had really nice result. Um, do you have some good memories of Carnoustie? Um, you know, I was really trying to remember, you know, how I did in 2010. And I knew that I had good results, but I played the course yesterday about 15 holes. And I don't re really, really remember the golf course, um, except for that. I had a sausage roll after number 10. So um, yeah, I mean, you know, I know I knew that I enjoyed the golf course, you know, when I played in the first time in 2010, I had the good result. Um, you know, there has been some changes on the golf course. I heard, you know, they made it a little bit longer. And um, last time we played here, I don't think it was that windy. So um, I don't know what we're gonna get this week, obviously. And it's really wind dependent golf course. And um, when it's windy, this golf course can get really, really tough. And, you know, when it's not windy, obviously it's scorable. So um, yeah, I think we'll just wait and see what happens. Okay. And um, just what did you think of the 18th and, uh, and the Barry Burn there that's uh, so infamous? 18th? Um, to be honest, I haven't played the Edinburgh team yet, but um, obviously I played a few times in 2010, but I, you know, it's just tough, really, really tough to remember, but, um, you know, it's always, in the, you know, the, you know, playing in, you know, Scotland golf courses and it's, you know, coming to number 18 with the big clubhouse and, you know, just, it's, you know, totally different look to what we usually play every weekend on and it's just, you know, so historical and I just, you know, love, you know, love the style of the golf course. Okay, the next question we've got from uh, Chris Harvey. Go ahead, Chris. Thank you. Uh, Envy, welcome back to Scotland. Um, I was just interested in what is it about your game you think that's suited to Lynx Golf? Because obviously you, you've played really well here, obviously Carnoustie in that time. You won at Turnbury. Uh, you played a really competitive tournament at St Andrews a few years ago as well. What is it that you enjoy and, and why is your game suited to, to, to these Lynx courses? Um, you know, we play under, you know, a lot of different conditions and obviously very tough conditions when we come to play in sculling golf courses and obviously, you know, you need to control your ball really well under the wind you have to avoid a lot of the bunkers. Um, I mean, it is always, you know, tough playing under the wind, but I, you know, somehow kind of managed to enjoy the wind and the Lynx golf course. I think this is what we, what we supposed to get um, playing Lynx golf. So, um, I think it's just that kind of the mindset. And obviously, you know, the, the ground is very firm because it's the Lynx golf course and the ball's running. So of course it's not playing overly long, um, not the longest hitter. So I think that really helps as well. Um, yeah, and just, you know, playing a little bit smart around the golf course helps, I think. You talked about the kind of um, courses you normally play on. Obviously we see that they, they look so lush and beautiful on television. Uh, do you enjoy the kind of change of scene, these kind of like wild open spaces where it's just you and the and the ground and the ball? Yeah, I mean, I really, really do enjoy, you know, the Lynx golf style. I mean, we only get to do it probably once or twice a year. And, you know, I always look forward to playing the Lynx golf, you know. To be honest, if I have to play, you know, under these conditions every week, I say I probably not going to enjoy it as much, but it's a once a year opportunity and um, it's, it's a unique setup. And I think this is the way the golf is supposed to be played. So um, yeah, really, really enjoy it. Fantastic. The very best of luck this week. We'll be rooting for you here in Scotland. Thank you. 
Okay, the next question is from Megan McGuire. Megan, go ahead. Hi, MV. Welcome back to the AIG Women's Open. Just what is your mindset as you head into the final major championship of the season? This has been kind of the comeback season from our COVID 2020 restart, but just for you and where you are in your game as you rev up for this final major championship. Yeah, I mean, I, I just can't believe how the fast the year has gone. And I can't really believe that Olympics is already over. And, you know, since, you know, this is the last major, I really want to give it, you know, all I have. And um, I've done really, really good over this season. And obviously, you know, probably a little bit disappointing in the Olympics. But except for that, I think I've just done, you know, a really, really good job. And, you know, being a last major and, you know, thinking that we have to wait a few months to uh, wait for another major really, you know, gets to me um, to bring all I have in this week. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy it and then, um, you know, maybe enjoy some time off after. <laughs> Thanks, Simbi. Yeah. Okay, we've got another question from Liv McMillan. Go ahead, Liv. Hi, MB. Um, last year at Royal Troon, you had your husband caddying for you. I was just wondering if he got another call up for Kanusi this week. No, um, I have Brad this week and he's really excited to be here. He was you know, really sad that he missed the you know, great golf course that we played last year. So I'm really glad that he's back on the bag and you know, really reminded me of my husband cad caddying last year. And I mean, it was really fun as well, but um, I'm happy to have Brad back. <laughs> Great, thank you. Okay, do we have any further questions from those on the call? Okay, if no more questions, we'll bring things to a close there. And thanks very much for your time and very best of luck this week. Okay, thank you. Thank you.